representing proportional relationships with graphs, 3.1c. We can represent a proportional relationship with a graph. The graph will be a line that passes through the origin, 0, 0. So that would be 0 for the horizontal x and 0 for the vertical y. This graph shows the relationship between distance measured in furlongs to distance measured in miles. So here we have miles, here we have furlongs. One mile is eight furlongs. At zero, zero, we have zero miles and zero furlongs. Then we have one mile, eight furlongs, two miles, 16 furlongs, three miles, 24 furlongs. They're all in proportion to each other. We first learned about proportional relationships and graphs in 7th grade math 4.3. And those videos are linked in this description if you missed them or have forgotten them. It's 4.3a, b, and c. The graph shows the relationship between the weight of an object on Mars and its weight on Earth. Write an equation for this relationship. Our equation will be in the form y is equal to kx. So step one, we make a table using the points on the graph. We have 10, 4 as our first pair, 28 as the second pair, 30, 12 as the next pair, and 40, 16 as the last pair. So here we have our table. We have our Earth weight in pounds and our Mars weight in pounds. And we had 10, 4 for our first ordered pair, 28 for the second one, then we had 30, 12, and 40, 16. Step two, we find the constant of proportionality, k, in simplest form. We write the Mars weight over the Earth weight. Notice how I flipped these around. I swapped them. Now the orange Mars weight is on top. That means we have 4 tenths, which simplifies to 2 fifths. And 8 twentieths simplifies to 2 fifths and 12 thirtieths simplifies to 2 fifths, and 16 fortieth simplifies to 2 fifths. That means our constant of proportionality is 2 fifths. Now we're ready to write the equation, and k, our constant of proportionality, is equal to 2 fifths. Step 3, we write the equation in the form y is equal to kx. We're going to let x represent the earth weight, and y represent the Mars weight. Our equation is y is equal to 2 fifths x. Remember, our constant of proportionality was 2 fifths, our k. Using this equation, we can find any Mars weight in pounds. So if we had an Earth weight of 120 pounds, we would just put that into the equation, that the Mars weight, y, would be equal to 2 fifths times 120. That would be 48 pounds on Mars. We can see from the graph that as the weight on Earth increases, the weight on Mars increases. This means there's a proportional relationship, and as the weight on Earth decreases, the weight on Mars will decrease. The points on the graph show us the constant of proportionality. We have 10 for x and 4 for y. Our ordered pair is 10, 4. We can write it as y over x. 4 tenths, and if we simplify it, we get 2 fifths. So it is 2 fifths in its simplest form. Here we have another graph. This graph shows the relationship between the amount of hours a car travels and the distance it's driven. We have miles to hours. It's going to be 60 to 1. When we're at 1 for x, the hours, we're at 60 for the miles driven. We know the car is going 60 miles per hour. It's going 60 miles in one hour. Now, since the graph is a straight line, we can see a very straight line. We know it's in proportion. We know the ratio is the same for each point. It's going to be 60 over 1, or 60. And the equation is y is equal to 60x. So I hope you remember from the previous years that x is the horizontal value and y is the vertical value. And you can remember that y is going up by remembering y to the sky. We're finished with 3.1. We're going to move on to 3.2.
We're going to talk about rates of change in 3.2a. We're going to be investigating rates of change. Now, if anything was confusing in this lesson, go back to the math lessons that are linked in the description, and maybe the seventh grade version will help you. Have a wonderful day. Join me for the next lesson. Bye.